Before we can start creating a masterpiece, we need to understand how we interact with Reason's interface. It's made up of five different elements. The mixer, the rack, the sequencer, the transport, and finally the tool window. Over the next bunch of chapters, we'll go into more detail about what each of these spots on the interface are for, but for now, let's talk about setting them up and moving them around. The tool window is floating, so you can move it anywhere you like. Let's just close it for now. You can always reopen it from the window menu or press F8. If you want to hide the transport, just click the arrow here. Click again to bring it back. Let's keep it hidden for now and focus on how we can manipulate the mixer, rack, and sequencer. To start, we click on these dividers between them and drag them around to make each section larger or smaller. If you have a nice large screen resolution, this will work really well because you can probably see each of the elements. For me, it's not working. I just can't see enough. Check out these buttons along the right-hand side, specifically the button with the arrow coming out of either side. Click on the button associated with each section of the interface so it will expand and fill our screen. It's even better to use the key commands F5, F6, and F7 to quickly view the mixer, rack, or sequencer. If you're using multiple screens, you can actually detach the mixer or rack using these buttons. Or you can go up to the window menu and select Detach Main Mixer or Detach Rack Window here. You can also use the key command controller command F5 or controller command F6. Let's try it out. Let's use the key command controller command F5. Now if you have a Mac, one thing to note is that hitting command F5 might activate your voiceover service. If that's the case, we're going to have to disable that. So go to the Apple menu, System Preferences, Keyboard, Make sure you've got keyboard shortcut selected, universal access, and make sure turn voiceover on or off is set to off. And now let's try it. See, it detaches our mixer. Now I can move it around. So if you can, and you have two monitors, definitely put the mixer in the second monitor. It'll impress your friends, it'll impress your clients, and it'll impress yourself too. It's great having that up all the time when you're mixing.